Gambling took over for me when I would be waking up and uh, I just do what I'd have to do to, to go and gamble. When I start gambling, um, I'm not thinking about all the things that, that are in my life. Uh, I don't think about the problems in my life. I don't think about the chaos that's going on in my life. I just gamble. And even when I do stop, I'm phantom gambling because I'm thinking about gambling. I'm thinking about when I'm going to obtain money to gamble from, when I'm going to do that, how I'm going to do that, and how long can I do it for. When you're gambling, you lose all sense of time. Sometimes I wouldn't even know what day of the week it was. The simplest way to know if someone's got a, a, a real poor relationship with gambling is if, the, if uh, you should be somewhere else and you're gambling, you've probably got a problem. I became someone who couldn't um, sustain savings or anything like that. In fact, I lived from pay week to pay week. As we got to the near the end of my active gambling time, um, it was uh, not uncommon um, that my family would uh, take their wallets and purses to, to bed with them at night. The catalyst uh, was with my younger sister. Uh, you know, she started a brand new job and found out that, uh, again, that I'd been taking money from her. She spoke to the members of the family and when she came home that night, she looked me in the eye and said, we love you enough to no longer have you in our lives. The amount of energy, the amount of lies, the amount of manipulation that I was doing uh, around me became too much. I had too many balls in the air juggling at any, any one time and, uh, and it's tiring to keep that. I was just, just tired from the life of being that out of control gambler. I was able to find help uh, through the Salvation Army and it was the treating doctor there who, who said to me, you're not greedy, you're not weak, you're not evil, you're actually unwell. And that was the first time someone had actually said that I was unwell and that I suffered uh, an illness which manifests itself in gambling. And so I haven't gambled in any form since that day. So it's now over 20 years for me since I've had a bet on any form of gambling. Making the decision to seek help has changed my life in ways that I never imagined. I still get active help uh, even today on a weekly basis. And I have a great group of friends that will always check in with me. I would like gamblers to understand that there are avenues for help today like never before. It could be that you've just had a bad week. Your gambling could have just escalated in a week or two and you need some help. There is hope out there today. There are options, there are avenues, there are multiple avenues, there's not just one way. But seek help, because to not seek help is to suffer.